siap. Sudah bisa dimulai, Ibu Ratna. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Before dissertation event start, please turn off or mute your microphones. When the defense has officially started, when the promo vendors is presenting, and at the question and answer session. And please don't share screen during the duration of defense. When speaking, please reactive your video and audio. We also will come to the audience watching via YouTube streaming. Honorable audience, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Greeting for all of us. With Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I declare this dissertation defense is started. This dissertation defense is held to give opportunity to promo vendors Hesti Maheswari to deliver her dissertation research title Stakeholder Engagement Method for Implementing Sustainable Reverse Logistic, a case study Indonesian smartphone waste. An answer question or defend her dissertation toward critic and comment in this session. Promovendus has been doing her dissertation research under supervision of a promoter team as follows. Gatot Yudoko PH3 from ITB as chief promoter, Akbar Adi Utama PH3 from ITB as co-promoter, while the examiners in this session are Yudo Anggoro PH3 from ITB, Dr. Yunita, Yuanita Handayati from ITB, Dr. Nani Utami Handayani from Universitas Diponegoro. Ladies and gentlemen, next I will ask to Chief Promoter Gatot Yudoko PhD to deliver promo vendors curriculum vitae and then to convey academic accountability regarding to the acceptance of this dissertation. So the Chief Promoter, time yours, please. Okay. Thank you, Ibu Rana. Assalamualaikum Okay, uh, please let me uh, summarize yeah, a brief uh, curriculum vitae of the promo venda, yeah, Hesti Maheswari. So she earned her undergraduate from Universitas Jenderal uh, Sudirman, yeah, Unsud, and then her master from Universitas Pajajaran. Yeah. So the dissertation of the promo venda was motivated by two major reasons. Yeah. The first reason is from the empirical perspective yeah, in which yeah, we have recognized yeah, the phenomenon of the increasing number of smartphone users. Using smartphone waste. Yeah, and we require yeah, uh, to manage this waste accordingly and wisely because there are many actors that have been involved in this uh, particular phenomenon. From the conceptual perspective, yeah, the uh, promo vendor has been able to identify a few recent gaps yeah, from those and that the promo vendor proposed his novelty through her dissertation. So therefore, the objective of uh, this dissertation is to develop and confirm or test a conceptual framework as well as propositions yeah, with regard to the stakeholder engagement in implementation of sustainable reverse uh, logistics in Indonesia. Yeah. So this conceptual model as well as proposition has been tested yeah, by conducting uh, direct observation, interview, as well as survey involving uh, four groups of stakeholders, namely informal businesses, and then government, smartphone manufacturers, and communities. Yeah? So the result of the data analysis has bring about some future research as well as uh, policy implication. 
the promo venda has also been fulfilling the requirement for uh, publication in international reputable uh, journal. And for this uh, from this reason, the promo venda is eligible to be in this promotion defense. Thank you, uh, the chairperson, uh, Ibu Ratna. Thank you, Mr. Chief Promoter. Now, to the committee, could you please invite the promo vendors to attend to this session? Sudah, Bu. Yeah. Promo Vedas, are you healthy enough to perform uh, your dissertation? Yes, I am. Promo Vedas, you are given opportunity to present your dissertation for about 20 minutes from now. Time yours, please. Thank you very much, Prof. Ratna. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Dean of ITB Postgraduate School, Chief of Examiner, Promoter, Co-Promoter, External Examiner, and Internal Examiners. Uh, thank you very much for spending your valuable time to examine my dissertations. Also to all guests and my family, uh, thank you very much for coming and supporting me. Kindly allow me to share my presentation material. In this occasion, I would like to present my dissertation summary. The title is Stakeholder Engagement Methods for Implementing Sustainable Reverse Logistics, a case study Indonesian smartphone waste. This research was inspired by the extreme growth of electronic waste of course, also a smartphone waste that has triggered the growth of informal US business in many parts of Indonesia. This business uh, is strongly believed by marginalized group can increase their welfare compared to other businesses, even working in the uh, formal sector. Unfortunately, uh, the use of a manual method uh, make environmental pollution cannot be avoided. The government also is not ready to face uh, the increase of e-waste. They have many heavy tasks that haven't been overcome until now, such as uh, poverty, stunting, traffic jam, minimal education facilities and infrastructure, and also fruit that many that happen in many places in Indonesia. The government uh, also have an online e-waste uh, collecting application eco friend but they don't have enough uh, the officer to pick up e-waste from uh, communities and recycle the collected one. Smartphone uh, manufacturers also play a big role in the growth of uh, electronic waste by producing uh, products that are easily damaged and uh, cannot be upgraded and um, quickly become uh, outdated. The community also influences uh, the increase the increase in smartphone waste uh, with their consumptive behavior. Moreover, uh, the availability installment program as the credit card facilitation succeeds in increasing the replacement rate of smartphone. And the more often people uh, replace the, their smartphone, uh, the more electronic waste is produced. In developed country, this problem is handled by conducting reverse logistic uh, activities. Government in developed countries uh, in, uh, involve industry and consumer to support the program. And they don't give an opportunity to informal sector to take a part. But in developing countries, uh, reverse logistic activities are dominated by informal sector because uh, the government uh, uh, do not ready to handle uh, uh, this job and 
informal uh, business people uh, need a job for uh, their daily life. Reverse logistics is the planning to process a use or broken smartphone uh, products uh, to recapture the value or recovery the asset. Uh, this research classified reverse logistic activities into three groups, and I am more focused on the second group because uh, activities in this group uh, give the largest uh, environmental pollution, the, the largest impact on environmental pollution. Reverse logistic uh, program can also uh, can solve the growth of e-waste uh, problem if we have a specific uh, e-waste regulations, institution, institutional commitment, not only commitment of government but also commitment from uh, other parties, and we need also a lot of funds uh, for building eco recycling uh, uh, technology and need environmentally friendly behavior of communities to be wise in using. Uh, smartphone product. In other words, engaging uh, of other party is very necessary for having a good reverse logistic program. So the main objective of this research is to determine the engagement uh, method for all stakeholders. And I have three research questions. Uh, first, uh, for formulating uh, this method, I I, I think I have to understand first uh, the roles, motivation, obstacle, and expectation each stakeholders, and I must to understand uh, the interaction uh, hierarchy of each stakeholders. The, research, uh, the answer of research question one and two will be a foundation to build uh, the appropriate engagement method for each stakeholder that possible for them to implement. In order to understand how to implement reverse logistic activities, who should be engaged and how to engage them, this research refers to many previous studies and concerned to several themes. Uh, for example, first about uh, reverse logistic activities, motivation and obstacle that reaches research by Rogers and Tiben Lemke. Then uh, the theme shift to sustainability issue or a triple bottom line concept because environmental pollution often occurs in developing countries uh, when conducting the, uh, conducting these activities because uh, handling the growth of illegal uh, reverse logistic activity is very difficult i concern to some researchers that for, that discuss uh, about a collaboration among stakeholders and discuss about barriers to implement a reverse logistic but I haven't found a reverse logistic research that involves four stakeholders and discuss three engagement uh, models at once to solve the problems. So uh, the gap of research in this uh, in reverse logistic area is first in terms of the number of stakeholders that involve, and then in terms of uh, the number of engagement model that discuss and. Uh, this research emphasizes sustainability concept embedded in reverse logistic concept, uh, and these are as the state of the art of uh, my dissertations. And this is my initial conceptual model, and this is the final goals. To answer all research question, I choose pragmatism as a research philosophy, a mixed method approach by combining uh, deductive and deductive. Uh, method, uh, cross-section, sorry, case study as the research strategy, cross-section as time horizon, uh, semi-structured interview and survey technique in data collection. For data analysis, uh, in the first step, I use a qualitative analysis uh, for establishing the quality of any empirical social research. It commonly uses uh, this for design test plus a triangulation method to make sure uh, there is no construct that haven't been covered in this research. In the second step, I conducted confirmation test by using quantitative analysis to find the grid method. I filtered uh, all construct uh, through six uh, examination tools. This is a step by step uh, when I was conducting my research. This is my respondent in the first step and in the second step. Before answering the first research questions, let me show uh, the operation pattern of reverse logistics that has been taking place in Indonesia based on their activities and uh, selection of operating place. 
All selected respondents uh, conduct all reverse logistics in the first group. Some recyclers in Jakarta do not have enough space to conduct a dismantling by burning the component, moreover for recycling them because the population density problems. Uh, usually, uh, they are refining uh, the gold, the e uh, recycling the e-waste component uh, on the railroad track at midnight, but today it is not too much since some areas such as Pasar Poncol and Cipinang are strictly monitored by officer. There are four patterns in selecting business place for IBs. First, they operate uh, close to the sea, such uh, US business people at the Galangos village Tangerang, close to a forest for US business uh, people at the Wagung village, uh, Pani Isan village at Raja Pola Tasik Malaya. If they live in a big city, they choose to operate in the middle of Buril, such as at Taman Pemakaman Umum Astana Anyar Bandung. And in Batam, they operate in the, mid in the middle of um, motorbike uh, repair shops to disguise the smell from the burning process. To answer a uh, first is question, I developed a 16 proposition. By interviewing the, my respondent, I found uh, the role of each stakeholder, their motivations, their obstacle, and also their expectation. I bought and I click uh, the new construct, and these are uh, the, the important uh, research, my research findings. In formulating the engagement, um, in formulating the engagement method, I consider uh, carefully the role of each stakeholders, their motivation, their expectation, and also the, the obstacle that they face. And after that, uh, I try to formulate and propose the involvement method, uh, the collaboration method, and the empower methods, one by one for each stakeholder. This one for IBs, this one for uh, engagement method for government, for manufacturers, and for communities. To understand uh, the interaction hierarchy of each uh, respondent group to the SRL program, I use attention, interest, desire, and action analysis. I call it AIDA analysis. If the score value of a method is equal to or more than three, the stage hierarchy is accomplished. This this uh, figure show uh, that the four stakeholders have good attention to the SRL activities. In the second stage, a uh, hierarchy of consumer, uh, consumer only consumer uh, that are not interested uh, to the program. In the third stage, uh, only manufacturer that have a desire to implement the program. Unfortunately, all stakeholders uh, fell into the fourth hierarchy. We can see from this figure, uh, it is still very difficult for IBs uh, to use uh, personal protective equipment. Uh, we can still also uh, we can still uh, find also electronic waste uh, mixed with uh, household waste. To answer a third question, this research has three propositions for each stakeholder. This is the result of confirmation test for IBs. There are two unaccepted. Uh, unaccepted engagement method in each engagement model. Uh, IBs are reluctant to pick up EWS from household and sharing knowledge uh, to others IBs. Uh, they also refuse to be localized um, in a reverse logistics center and control the uh, other reverse logistic business performance. They cannot create uh, eco-recycling technology and set a procedure of uh, US disposal. Government respondent only refuse a one collaboration method and one empowerment method. Uh, since the government respondent are uh, uh, consists of uh, four groups, it is important to test uh, the differences of, of their agreement. Because our data do not fulfill uh, the normality test, I must use Kurskawali's test. There are six uh, met engagement methods that significantly uh, different among the four group of uh, government respondents. It happened because uh, first, in some place, 
In some places, there is no smartphone manufacturers and informal e-waste business are not too much in some area. And the second, uh, because uh, there is no clear instruction from the center of government, so they implement uh, their policy. For determining which government group are statistically significant different from each other, this group, uh, this research use the post hoc, the post -hoc test. This research identify um, this research identified that uh, the greatest uh, differences in agreement are occurred between province environmental agency and uh, city environmental agency and local government. Uh, there is no significant differences agreement between uh, district and local governments. I predicted because it is because uh, their job area is almost the same, and both observe that uh, observe directly that reverse logistics activities able to reduce unemployment and increase communities welfare in in their area only nine of 15 engagement methods are accepted by this group uh, they refuse uh, some proposed methods uh, because based on their opinion uh, these are the government's responsibility most community are unwilling to are unwilling to use smartphone until the end of its lifetime they use also refuse uh, to pay e-waste retribution fee. I conducted uh, the post hoc test also to test the differences level of agreement based on their education level. And the differences in agreement most often occurs between uh, postgraduate communities and senior high school communities. Respondent from postgraduate uh, groups have the highest mean rank. It indicates that uh, the higher the educational background, uh, the higher awareness to support the SRL program. Now we are in the last session. Through this research, I understand that each group of respondents plays their respective roles. Evidently, a combination of their role is very good in realizing sustainable reverse logistic program. I know uh, today I know why IBs and manufacturers uh, want or do not want to implement the program and government and communities why they want or do not want to, to support the program. These are the accepted involvement method for each uh, stakeholders. I found six collaboration methods that approved by two stakeholder or uh, three stakeholder groups. Collaboration with a manufacturer to provide a technology and facilities infrastructure, develop tech big program and deposit refund program are refused by manufacturers. It is surprising that IBs can be empowered to create or have a traditional machine. They can also spend a lot of money to buy a machine required by government. Government uh, are willing to arrange the, the SRL pro, uh, system and also monitor and supervise the implementation uh, of the program. They are willing also to mediate the mutual uh, benefit uh, of partnership between IBs and manufacturers. Be Besides developing a tech big program, manufacturers uh, can be empowered to also to provide extensive authorized repair service, produce more durable smartphone product, and use recycled material for producing the new product. While uh, communities can only be expected to give unused smartphone uh, to others rather than keep it at home. My contribution to practice uh, this research has helped uh, the government how to engage other parties to participate in reverse logistic program for handling the growth of illegal reverse logistic activities and contribution to theory because of the concept because the concept of reverse logistic is not a direct related to environmental friendly concept so we need to emphasize a sustainability concept when talking about reverse logistic concept in developing countries to methodology i have shown uh, the importance of ida analysis to avoid uh, many constructs are rejected and the importance of integrated agreement content and factorial validity index uh, because this method can describe uh, how many respondents agree to a method. Uh, this is my uh, intellectual journey. I published three research articles, uh, more than four conference proceedings, 
and one book chapter. That is all. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Promo Vendus. Uh, please stay on your slide. Honorable audience, we shall continue with question and answer session. Every X minor has three minutes to deliver two until three question, and the promo vendors must answer our question within seven minutes directly and without any reputation from the X minor. For first X minor, I ask Dr. Nani Utami Handayani from uh, Undip to proceed. Time yours, please. Thank you, Prof. Sudrajati. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nice to meet you again, Bu Ibu Hesti Maiswari. Uh, first, congratulations. You have amazing uh, promoters and have guided you to complete an excellent dissertation. Uh, I have some question from your dissertation. Uh, first, this dissertation discuss stakeholder engagement in implementing sustainable reverse logistic management. The effect, uh, one uh, of this, the advantage of this research is uh, level of involvement. What are the role, motivation, and expectation of each stakeholder at, at its level of involvement? Uh, second, this research, uh, this research use, uses a qualitative approach to collect various information from respondent and a quantitative approach. Uh, is carried out uh, at the confirmation phase. How do you validate uh, the result of this research and why did you choose this method? And is there any specific condition required for implementing this research in another uh, industrial sector or a sustainable approach in field other than, uh, other than uh, reverse logistic? Uh, Third, uh, your dissertation has produced several findings that have positively impacted sustainable reverse logistic management. Which of these findings are the most interesting to you? Why? And what is the drawback or limitation of the model developed? Develop and what is the outcome of your model to society and SDGs program in Indonesia? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nani. Uh, to Prom Vendors, time viewers, please. Thank you very much for your questions, Ibu, uh, Pro, Ibu Nani. Uh, in my explanations, Okay, uh, this is an example uh, how to use uh, the, uh, our data to, uh, to, uh, to formulate and propose the engagement method. Uh, for example, for IDs, I, uh, from, interviewing, uh, from interviewing the respondent, I know, uh, I understand uh, the role of IBs, for example, uh, as collector, dismantler, uh, smelter, uh, and then recyclers. And then I uh, consider uh, their motivation, for example, for profit, uh, for their welfare, uh, decrease the number of e-waste, and protect the environment. And then also their expectation, uh, their expect the government intervention and protection uh, from uh, the extortion uh, practices and balance attention between environmental and welfare issues. Uh, I also uh, I also consider uh, the obstacle that they face, uh, such as lack of knowledge, capital skill, and then uh, unclear regulations. Uh, from this data, I propose uh, the involvement method. And then uh, because uh, there is no government support, uh, uh, and then their expectation is uh, uh, getting training uh, and recapture value, recovery asset, and then to be a collector of manufacturers, uh, they, they 
uh, expect uh, collaborate they they expect to collaborate with manufacturer in uh, rising uh, reaching the eco uh, recycling knowledge um, also uh, for based on the obstacle these are uh, high replacement cost unfair competition extortion and lack of government support while uh, uh, the motivation of job opportunity proper us management uh, recapture value and recovery asset so they expect a collaboration with communities uh, by collecting us and giving incentive and uh, so on for uh, other stakeholders uh, how to validate uh, the answer uh, i uh, first, I use a uh, uh, I use a quantitative uh, method. I use quantitative method uh, su uh, such as mean, mode. Uh, sorry, this one. This one. I use a, a quantitative uh, method uh, uh, such as a mean, mode, geometric mean, internet agreement, content, and factorial validity index. Uh, and then uh, for mean and mode, uh, the uh, the limit uh, to to accept uh, a method is uh, uh, if uh, the average score is more uh, than or is equal to or more than three. Uh, but uh, I I think I have to use also geometric mean because uh, geometric mean is able to give meaning for uh, each datum that. Uh, each datum, despite uh, its uh, uh, its low value, and then I found that interrater agreement, uh, it, uh, the importance of interrater agreement, because because um, for example, if I have uh, five respondents, uh, three of them uh, answer strongly agree, uh, they get a uh, five score, and then two uh, left uh, answers strongly disagree. So the operates. Uh, the average score is uh, 3.4 uh, uh, based on mean uh, test. Uh, this method is uh, accepted, uh, Bunani. But uh, in iterator agreements, uh, the score of iterator agreements is uh, 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6. And the, the this method cannot be accepted. So uh, to validate a uh, to validate uh, the uh, the method uh, the 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 answer, I use a uh, uh, interrater agreement also, and then uh, other method. And then uh, the third question, uh, the most interesting finding. Uh, uh, I have a uh, many interesting finding. I think um, Bunani, uh, this this one. Uh, uh, that you asked for me in uh, close disser uh, dissertation about uh, uh, reverse, log uh, log reverse logistic implementation pattern that has been taken in Indonesia based on activities uh, such as uh, uh, these activities, the, these three activities, and then uh, this one, uh, based on selection of operating place. Uh, there are four, uh, 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 there are Four method to selecting uh, the operating place uh, near to uh, close to the sea, and then uh, close to a forest, and then in a city uh, in the middle of burial, and then in the middle of um, motors uh, motorbike uh, repair shop. And other interesting is in, interesting fi research finding is uh, this one. Sorry. Um, ah, this one. Uh, this one. Uh, it is surprising that IBS can be empowered to to create a recycling machine, to create a, a, a air filter machine, uh, and then to to spend a lot of money to buy a machine required by government because. Uh, Government in Tangerang required uh, informal it was business in Tegal Angus village to buy uh, a machine. Uh, the price is uh, 350 million rupiah, and they can able to uh, to buy uh, the machine. And then uh, uh, the government also uh, uh, 
are willing to 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 real to, to realize a sustainable reverse logistics system they want to monitor and supervise they want to help uh, this program to be realized i think uh, that is my answer bunani thank you from vendus and then uh, we invite the second uh, ex minor Ibu Dr. Yuanita Handayati to convey your question, please. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Sudrajati, for the uh, opportunity. So, uh, hi, Bu Hesti. Hi, Bu. First of all, I would like to congratulate you. So, this is your final step in this uh, doctoral program. So, when I read your work, uh, I see that you have put uh, your full effort in the dissertation. And then you are also shown the original contribution of this research. And this research is also a very in uh, interesting and important topic to be discussed. So, uh, I have several questions uh, regarding to the research. So my first question is related to the uh, sustainability concept. Um, as we know that uh, in the sustainability concept, usually we use the triple uh, bottom line factors, the, the economic and economical uh, factors, social and also environment. And uh, there are also the other terms that are usually used to achieve this uh, sustainability. Uh, we know the uh, yeah, reverse logistic that is uh, used in this research. And then the other terms is closed loop supply chain and also circular uh, economy or circular supply chain. But then uh, my question is, uh, could you please explain uh, what is the similarity and also the differences of those terms and why you actually use the reverse logistic terms for this research rather than the other two terms. So that is my first question. And then my second question uh, is related to the uh, research method methodology. So this research uh, you mentioned in your dissertation that the research is uh, a focus on finding the roles, motivation, obstacles, uh, expectation of its stakeholders, and also analyze the interaction hierarchy of its stakeholders. Okay, yes. and uh, my question is, uh, why you choose the uh, attention, interest, desire, uh, action, or IDA analysis, and also the quantitative analysis that you already explained before to uh, Bu Hesti. And then, uh, yeah, my question is, could you please explain why you choose those uh, methods compared with other methods? For example, um, for example, as we know that usually to explain the especially to explain the interaction between its actors we usually use the agent based uh, modeling since this method uh, can illustrate and also analyze the interaction between actors and also uh, the agent based modeling can also assess the F, uh, the effect of the interaction on the uh, system as a whole so the the second question will be uh, why you choose those methods compare with the other methods. Okay, thank you. I think that's all. Thank you very much, Ibu Dr. Yuanita, uh, for your questions. Uh, the first question is the differences be between triple bottom line concept, uh, closed loop uh, supply chain, and uh, CA, uh, circular economy concept. Uh, I think, uh, uh, there are a uh, different concept, a uh, triple bottom line concept in my dissertation uh, refer to uh, uh, planet, uh, people and planet, people and profit. Uh, while uh, in closed loop uh, supply chains, uh, I talk about closed loop supply chains uh, uh, to cover uh, uh, some action that conducted by uh, 
smart, uh, Samsung manufacturers, smartphone manufacturers, they they choose to conduct a closed loop su uh, supply chain to recycle uh, the, the the rejected uh, smartphone product, for example, and the, the to uh, recycle um, electronic waste from their production process. Pro production process, they they don't want to recycle. Uh, their e-waste in other place because uh, recycling uh, the e-waste uh, component in a closed loop uh, uh, method, uh, they can use uh, the recycle uh, material to uh, to be a raw material for producing other products. And then uh, about uh, circular economy, um, I touch a little <laughs> part uh, uh, about uh, circular economy. Uh, uh, I think uh, it is relevant with my uh, research team, Repos Logistics, because uh, uh, circular economy is uh, a, man a smartphone manufacturer produce, uh, produce a smartphone product and then the consumer uh, buy the product and after using for maybe three years, uh, they uh, dispose the the product, and then uh, informal e-waste business uh, use the product to recycle uh, or to get uh, the gold from e-waste component. So uh, that is the circular economy because uh, uh, all parties uh, get uh, benefit from uh, these activities. And then the second answer is about why I choose uh, IDA analysis rather than agent-based modeling. Uh, I think it is very interesting to conduct my, uh, further research by using agent-based model modeling, Ibu Yohanita. Uh, but uh, for my dissertation, um, because in the first step, I, I have collected a lot of uh, construct to formulate uh, the engagement uh, method, uh, if I I do not uh, confirm to uh, our respondents, all respondents, uh, they are agree or not to each uh, mod, uh, each engagement model. I think it is uh, useless, Ibu Yuanita. So I confirms all uh, engagement method to the respondent. So in my uh, dissertation, I only I only want to confirm. Uh, they are agreed to the method or, or not. But uh, I think it is for further research, I will conduct uh, uh, agent-based model. Uh, I will use agent-based modeling. Thank you very much. That is my answer. Yeah, thank you very much, Vesti. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Pama uh, Pendus. And then we call the next ex minor, Bapak Yudo Anggoro PhD to deliver your question and comment, please. Yeah, thank you, uh, Professor Sudrajati. So, Ibu Hesti, Promovenda, congratulations. Finally, you are in the final stage of your dissertation. And uh, I agree to Ibu Yuanita's comment. I think your writing is, is good and the structure is also quite organized. And the output of your research is also quite good. So I have uh, two questions. The first is when I came across to your table 1.2, actually you also presented uh, in this in this uh, slides. I'm quite intrigued with the with the role of all the sectors, all the actors in Indonesia. For example, here government is inactive, and also the informal sector is uh, active but illegal. Yeah. So I'm I'm quite I'm wondering actually. So if if it is supported by the illegal activity. So do you think that uh, formalizing or institutionalizing this uh, informal sector would make a difference you know, or would contribute to the economy better? Because as we know that uh, it, in our economy, yeah, many people are still doing this informal sector. Yeah, do you think that this institutionalizing activity will, will be better? That's my first question. And then the second is related to, of course, my favorite topics about the role of government. Um, you refer to Pak Gatot's uh, research in 2012, yeah, and uh, one of the findings there, and also uh, accentuated in your research is that, um, yeah, the role of government is more into like uh, facilitating or making the policy. So do you think, uh, is there any intervention needed to be done by the government so that, that, that the government can come and uh, step into the market to correct everything that happened in, in the market? That will be my two questions. 
Thank you, Ibu Esti. Okay, thank you very much for your question, Pak Yudo Anggoro. Uh, I try to answer your question. Uh, the first question is about uh, my is about a uh, table 1.2 uh, reverse logistic implementation compare uh, between developed countries and developing countries. Uh, this is the reality. Uh, uh, in developed countries, uh, the government uh, do not give an opportunity to uh, informal sector uh, to conduct uh, reverse logistic activities. But in developing countries, uh, we still uh, rely on uh, the informal uh, business to uh, to solve uh, the, prob the the growth of waste problem, Pak Yudo. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, is it not important for the government? For sorry, for other department, uh, other department. Uh, for example, uh, for uh, the Ministry of Industry or the Ministry of uh, Trade. Uh, but I think it is important for uh, important issue for uh, the Ministry of uh, Environment and Forestry. But but it is not important for uh, other departments. So uh, they let uh, informal business to, um, to treat uh, electronic waste. And uh, my respondent from uh, local government and uh, district environmental agency uh, mentioned that uh, these activities uh, can uh, increase uh, their welfare uh, and then uh, can help government to uh, overcome the growth of e waste so they they let uh, uh, this act, uh, these activities uh, continue to increase and uh, the second and uh, question is about a uh, role of uh, government uh, facilitating and making uh, about government intervention sorry yes um, government intervention uh, actually uh, ibs and uh, uh, smartphone manufacturers need government inter interventions why ibs need government intervention because they have to face uh, some uh, problems such as extortion uh, practices from uh, the the government officer uh, itself, and then um, government uh, manufacturers also need government intervention uh, in uh, about um, sorry uh, black market uh, because they have to uh, compete with a black market market product that sell in uh, e-commerce platform apa uh, yudo so they. Uh, the formal one uh, have to pay retribution uh, fee, recycling fee, uh, something like that. But the informal one that uh, that can sell in e-commerce e uh, platform do not pay uh, the recycling fee and so on. <laughs> it can answer your question, but you don't. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Question and answer session with the X minor just finished, and then we go to the next uh, session. That is uh, the question and answer from the uh, promoter team. So that uh, we invite Papa Akbar Abi Utama PhD as co-promoter to convey your question and comment, please. It, uh, thank you, Professor Sudajati. Okay, Bu Hesti. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations for you. This is your uh, final stage in your doctoral study. Okay, uh, my first question is related to the your finding in the, in the interaction hierarchy analysis. Uh, as we see in the in the finding that uh, all stakeholders all stakeholder is located in are located in the low level in action in action level. Can you ex explain more why all stakeholders located in the low level interaction and then do you have any idea to how to improve and then the second one uh, i interested uh, based on your uh, presentation there are, uh, 
there are some government uh, action. One of them is online application like uh, Echo Waste. Can you ex explain more about it? And then uh, how effective if uh, the government implement those applications? Can you uh, explain more? I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your question, Pak Akbar. The first question is about uh, interaction analysis. Uh, why all stakeholders fell into the fourth uh, hierarchies? Uh, yes, in, in the I, I, in IDA analysis, I, I, I asked the reality about uh, I asked uh, the reality of uh, each uh, respondent to implement and to support the program. And in fact, uh, IBs uh, cannot be, uh, in the reality, uh, IBs uh, uh, cannot obey to use, for example, to use a, um, a protect uh, 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 personal protective equipment such as uh, gloves, uh, masks, and boots, because uh, if they use uh, this equipment, uh, it can uh, it can uh, uh, yeah, in, uh, decrease uh, their performance because uh, their performance is uh, depend on uh, the number of uh, uh, EWS. Uh, the, the number of dismantled e-waste component. So uh, it reduced uh, their performance. So uh, they refused to, uh, to use uh, uh, personal protective equipment. For, for manufacturers also, if they ask uh, to facilitate uh, technology and uh, to, to facilitate technology and infrastructures uh, for recycling activities, they they also refuse because uh, based on their opinion, uh, this is uh, uh, these are uh, the the government's uh, responsibi responsibilities. And uh, how uh, to improve uh, 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 the actions uh, in my uh, in I the analyze in interaction analysis. I I ask about the reality of their actions, uh, Pa Akbar. But in the confirmation, because I want to formulate, uh, I want to propose uh, the, the best engagement method. So I uh, revise uh, some of them uh, uh, so that uh, the engagement method can be uh, accepted by uh, them. For, for example, um, coordinating US component uh, from, the, from your neighbor uh, without payment. All respondents uh, refuse uh, to be coordinator uh, uh, in e-waste collecting. But after I revise my item questionnaire, uh, to be will be uh, coordinating e-waste component uh, from your neighbor for payment. And most uh, most respondents agree to uh, conduct this action. So it is why. Uh, in IDA analysis, uh, uh, many uh, actions uh, are refused by uh, stakeholders. But in the confirmation phase, I I push uh, stakeholders to agree with uh, the method. And about uh, the second and uh, question about uh, online e-waste application, uh, e-waste online e on US online application, uh, I, I only found uh, US online application in Jakarta uh, pro, uh, that conducted by a province and environmental agency uh, in Jakarta. And some of them uh, conducted in Bandung. But I cannot found uh, this uh, online application uh, in others, uh, in others uh, region. For example, when I uh, go to uh, East Java in Jombang to survive in Jombang, I cannot find uh, this program. Uh, but it is. Uh, I think uh, there is some obstacle to to 
to conduct this program for a uh, government site because uh, they don't have enough officer to pick up e-waste uh, and uh, also communities uh, reluctant to collect to coordinate the collection of e-waste until five kilogram why five kilogram because uh, the requirement to pick to free pick up is uh, five kilogram i think it is very it is uh, still difficult to be implement but uh, uh, government uh, has tried this uh, concept, Pak Akbar. Okay, thank you, Basti. Thank you, Mau Pendus. And finally, we uh, invite Bapak Gatot Yudoko PHC as a chief promoter to convey your question, please. Okay, thank you, Ibu Rana, the chairperson. Is clearly. I cannot hear your end. Uh, Katot, uh, we miss your voice. Okay. Uh, maybe you can write down in the chat, or uh, maybe you can uh, write down the question instead, please. Okay. What uh, about? Hello. We can, Ibu Hesti can also read on the chat room. The question is already written there. Yeah. Okay. From Pak Gatot, yeah. Okay. Uh, chat room. Okay, Hesti. Oh, are you already read the question from Pak Gatot? In the chat room, not yet, Prof. Yeah, uh, Ratna, I don't have, I don't, I, I cannot find uh, the chat from Pak. Pak, Pak, Pak Gatot. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I will send. I will resend. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Already resend. Okay. Wesley. Can you Hello, Fendus? Hello? Yes, yes. Read it? Yes. Yeah. Please you can uh, answer yeah, uh, this uh, question. Thank you very much for your question, Pak Gatot. Uh, the first question is about uh, uh, potency to increase uh, participation of uh, smartphone manufacturers. I think to increase uh, participation of smartphone uh, manufacturers, uh, we have to use a regulation up approach uh, different to uh, increase uh, community's particip participation. We have to use uh, the education approach. Uh, also for uh, also for Samsung and Oppo. Um, uh, for uh, national uh, smartphone manufacturers, uh, obey to uh, the the regulations. Uh, but uh, for uh, Samsung and Oppo, it is very uh, they 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 often to avoid uh, some regulation. Uh, that is, uh, I find, uh, I found uh, uh, like that. For example, uh, about uh, TKDN, uh, tingkat kandungan dalam negeri, uh, uh, OPPO, uh, of course, uh, OPPO uh, often uh, avoid uh, these regulations. Mm -hmm. And uh, second is about challenges in implementing uh, AIDA. What uh, about uh, uh, challenges? What do you mean about uh, challenges in implementing AIDA? Yeah. So what will be the biggest problem if we want to implement AIDA for those four groups of stakeholders? Okay. Um, yes, I only cover six provinces, Pak Gatot. It is, I think it is uh, not enough to, re to represent uh, the, the whole uh, region. 
so I think uh, I have to share. Uh, I to I, I have to conduct uh, uh, either analysis by uh, uh, to share in uh, 34 uh, province in Indonesia, not only six province. Uh, I think it is my uh, research limitation, Pak Gatot. Okay. For further research, uh, I, I, I we, we can uh, add uh, the the number of uh, uh, participant, the number of respondent in AIDA analysis. Okay. okay, thank you. Terima kasih, Ibu Ratna. Thank you, uh, promoter. Ladies and gentlemen, we just finished the first session of dissertation event, and then I ask you time and patient for giving an opportunity for the Graduate School Commission to do a evaluation meeting. With this, I suspend the session for about 10, 30 minutes from now. Thank you very much. Hey, Ibu Bawa.